Debate over statues and monuments that honor historic figures with questionable pasts led the city of Chicago to launch a project designed to review more than 500 statues, all while some critics are arguing that the debate is nothing more than cancel culture. Yeah, joining us from that project is Jennifer Scott. She's co-chair of the committee and chief curator at the Jane Addams Hull House Museum on Halstead, along with Bonnie McDonald, who is the president and CEO of Landmarks Illinois. Ladies, good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so uh, let's start with this. Last summer, Christopher Columbus, the statue was removed from his pedestal. We reported it, everybody else did. Historians have been quick to label him a murderer and slaver of indigenous peoples, but there are an awful lot of Chicagoans out there of Italian descent who were outraged when he was taken off his pedestal. When you set out to review these landmarks, was emotional attachment part of that conversation? Ms. Scott, I'll start with you. Well, I think Chicago's been is is actually starting to participate in what's been a national conversation, and you might even argue global momentum to rethink monuments and public artworks and the histories that they are attached to, um, and trying to tell more um, uh, inclusive stories and fuller stories, and um, to kind of um, reckon with our shared past. Well, uh, then I want to ask you, Jane, if you could please address this. The standing Lincoln statue that is in Lincoln Park, it is widely considered the finest public sculpture of its kind in the country, and yet it's been listed as problematic. I mean, so given the fact that we live here in Illinois, the land of Lincoln, how can some people wonder, how can anyone justify removing it? Thanks, Benita. I think you're sending that question to me. And so I just want to say if, first, as the segment came through, it was uh, promoted and has been in the media as a removal effort. And it's very important to note that this is a conversation. It's a conversation about our historical figures and the narratives that are portrayed in our public art collection. And that is it. It's a conversation. And so we're not proposing to remove all of these monuments. We really want to have public engagement about about these people that are monumentalized in our public space. And to point out Lincoln, you know, with Lincoln, of course, he is a person who we monumentalize for his work as the great emancipator. And, and it's not in question the work that he did to free enslaved peoples. But what we are bringing to the fore as we wanna have a conversation is the role that he played in the removal of indigenous peoples. And so this is really an opportunity for us all to learn in this process. All right, so Bonnie, let me keep it with you. Um, there are so, uh, reportedly some 41 so-called problematic statues, including four past American presidents. Has there been any discussion amongst the panel, at least, about perhaps adding to these displays, maybe a plaque or some other side, uh, a, a monument rather, perhaps to tell the other side? You just mentioned one of those sides with regard to the indigenous peoples and Christopher Columbus, for example, maybe adding that to the experience rather than removing them all together all together. Yeah, absolutely. You know, thank you for identifying that there are many ways that we can bring forward the information, the the narratives. I don't think we would call it sides. I think we would look at these people as complex figures. They're human. And we want to ensure that we tell the full story of American history. So yes, it could include you know, other information plaques, you know, it could be new artworks next to those existing monuments, and they could include removal as well. Well, certainly, uh, I think there are some people who feel like maybe by removing some of these statues, uh, it would be, it, they feel that it is whitewashing uh, history. Some wonder, would it not be best to leave the statues up and teach people the good and the bad so that we can learn from mistakes? Jennifer, maybe you can answer that. Well, we want to hear from people if that's how you feel about it. I mean, this is, as Bonnie said, we're entering the public engagement phase and no decisions have been made yet about any of these monuments. They've only been flagged for further discussion. And so we're trying to learn as much as we can about how people feel about it, if people want them removed, if they want it, extra layers of context added and what they mean to them or what they would like to see or what's missing from history. So we're inviting people from all different backgrounds, perspectives to come to the table and talk because we actually don't have the answers yet. We don't know. We're really, really um, centering the public engagement as a way to learn from you, from everyone, from the public, but also to learn from one another to figure out how we can move forward. Because like Bonnie said, there's actually so many options on the table. We've only scratched the surface. So we have a lot more to learn and the public engagement um, opportunities 
that are central to the process of this project are really going to help illuminate those recommendations. All right. Jennifer Scott, co-chair of the committee and chief curator of the Jane Addams Hull House Museum, as well as Bonnie McDonald, president and CEO, Landmark Illinois. Hey, thank you both for coming on this morning. We do appreciate it. Thanks, Anita. Thank you so much. Absolutely. 7